What's going on, his squad? It's your man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all luxury, the coins, the airways, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tear cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Friday, May 28th, and as I say each and every video, Smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way. And if you're watching, just browsing, just checking out the channel, just checking out the cycles, just checking out me in general, make sure you guys subscribe because that's the most important part. <laughs> At least click on the videos if you don't want to watch them all the way through. Just click on the videos because it helps me get views and it helps me build the channel. Give me time, some type of interaction, people. Anywho, if you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT, which it will be down in the left-hand corner for you guys. It's not spaced out. There's no spaces, no anything like that. I put that down there, kind of spaced out, so you know who I am. Uh, <laughs> Idiot, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT. How to spell that will be there. And there's a hashtag below the video and down in the description box below for you guys. So you have no way to not know how to spell it. Um, First things first, let's get to Madame Nazar's location, which today... If you've been looking at the map, she's right around Big Valley area. This is still Big Valley. She's around the Little Creek River, which is up in the middle. I, I guess this is towards the top of Big Valley because across that line is Grizzlies West. But she's up here under the Word Creek in Little Creek River. The right under the word the double E in Creek. She will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone for those of you who don't know or not of America. How I get to her when she's in this spot is me. This is where I move my camp. I move my camp in two spots. I move my camp in Big Valley when she's up here, and I move my camp when she's down here near the Snoopy head right here because there is no fast travel over in this area to get to her kind of quick those are the two spots that I move my camp and you see my camp is right here today this is where I got it to spawn which it was pretty easy how I get it to spawn up here in this area when I need to get up here is I fast travel to Coulter when I'm in culture, there's a fast travel right here, but I go into my camp. I move my camp to Big Valley. If it's not already in Big Valley, I move it to Big Valley and it should spawn somewhere around this area. Sometimes you may, if people that's in the lobby already have these spots filled up, you may need to move it once or twice or just switch lobbies. It depends on a lot of factors, but most of the time, I usually get my camp up here in the first or second try. But it usually comes right here or over here somewhere, maybe over here. But this is the spot. I actually like this spot, especially when I'm doing like camp things, um, like uh, when I need to get supplies and stuff for the camp and stuff like that. It is sending me right here to this uh, little uh, general store situation. I wanted to call it a railroad station. I think that's what it is. But right here to this post office situation. It sent me right here to get the, the supplies sometimes. And then I just go right back to my camp. It's pretty easy. Just kill the people and go back to the camp. Anyway, I feel, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time on Madame Nazar right here. But I feel like this is news that people need to know. Anywho, that's how I get I get my camp up here. Other than that, if you guys are strapped for cash, if you don't really have a lot of money, 
simply fast travel to Strawberry and make sure you take either the left or the right side to her location. Do not go through the mountain because that is a travel. That, that takes forever. You go all the way up to the top of the mountain, go through the mountain and all that stuff. I did that a couple times when I was, uh, I guess, a, a noob to the game. I will never do that again. Always go around to the side. These dark lines do not follow that trail to the top of the mountain unless you're looking for something. But just go a around to this way to get to her or around like these dark lines. Only the dark line. Around this way past the Owangelia. Owangela? Gila? Gila? Lake. Over here, past Gus, up this way to get to her. Do not go through the mountain because you will be forever in the day. That is never the quick quick route if you don't know that yet. Um, other than that, it's enough about Madame Nazar. If you guys need to know any more information about anything, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, the next thing. Is the Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle, which today it's in black water. Right inside this tent right here, this first tent, right towards the back of the tent, about right there, on a crate or a barrel or something like that, is sitting towards the back of the tent next to the bed. There's also a Queen of Swords. I think that I don't want to get this wrong. I think it's a Queen of Swords tarot card, and it is right here at this location on the back of a wagon. And there's also a family heirloom right here. It's, I guess, is along the street. There's a chest in front of the building, like a treasure chest or whatever. You open up the treasure chest. And there's an ivory comb right here at this location. There's also a card over here somewhere, a tarot card, like right there. The tarot card is an eight of pentacles on the front porch of that house. So go grab that as well. Anywho, let's go over here to where we normally do business, which is around the Lemoyne area of the map. This is the area where, you know, you find most of everything. You don't have to look for things and stuff like that but that's why we do it over here anyway the cycles for today friday may 28th are family heirloom cycle six all those jury cycle four coin cycle four Hillhead cycle four wildflower cycle four antique alcohol bottle cycle four all tarot card cycle six bird egg cycle six and fossils cycle four yeah <laughs> remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there the cycles a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils so i can help you guys or i can attempt to help that was my attempt to help you guys find all of those spots um and how to spell the twitter and instagram for the channel let's get to these things that we will find across the lemoine area of the map which I guess we, we will kind of be going through these kind of quick. I'm going to try to get through it a little bit quick so I don't waste too much more of you guys' time. Let's start up here towards the top, which there's one over here that I want to tell you guys about. Right here at this location, you guys will find a fossil. This fossil is randomized. I cannot tell you guys about it. or I mean, I can tell you guys about it, but I cannot tell you guys which one you will get. Come over here with your metal detector, and that's what you will get, a random fossil. Over here, at our on this island, at our first marker, you guys will get a random coin. Come over here with your metal detector, and that's what it is. Right here, near Harriet, right here at this location, I want to say it's closer to this shore, between the shore and three trees. You guys will find a random arrowhead. This arrowhead is randomized. Come over here with your metal detector, and that's what you will get. 
let's go down to our next marker which is a bird egg this bird egg is a egret egg e-g-r-e-t it's in a tree so shoot it down with a ramen rifle or a bow using a small game arrow let's go over to our next spot which is along this the Kamasa Ro river right here at this location you guys will get another random fossil come over here with your metal detector once again and that's what you will get let's go over here to our next marker which there are two things right here at this location uh, one is right at the back where this marker is there's a bench and on that bench you guys will get a ebony hairbrush which is a family heirloom there's also a ten of cups right there on the balcony how to get to this balcony go up to the second floor go towards the back of the house and on that table, you guys will see your Ten of Cups tarot card. Let's go over to the cemetery, which there's another item or marker here. You guys will get a Banais, uh, B-A-N-A-I-S, Topaz Ring. That is a Lost Jury. It's inside this crypt right here, so go and get that. And right after you get that, go over here to our next marker, which is behind this house. Right here at this location, you guys will get a tarot card. This tarot card is a seven of swords. It's on the table next to a small broken cart or whatever that's right here at this location. There's also a couple more things I uh, usually tell you guys about. Right across from Gus, there's a treasure chest. Right in that treasure chest, you guys will get a boxwood comb. And when that boxwood comb is there, right here on the ground floor of this alley, there's a bench over right here at this area. Right there about where that location is, there's a bench. And on that bench, you guys will get a tortoiseshell comb. Let's go over to our next marker, which is another family heirloom. This family heirloom is a carved wooden hairpin. This carved wooden hairpin is in a pile of trash right here at this location. Come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a Tennessee whiskey alcohol bottle, antique alcohol bottle. Is this antique alcohol bottle is underground, so you have to go through the gate. There's a platform here. Hop on that. There's an entrance that looks like it into the building, but it really a path that leads down and underground. And follow that path, and it should lead you to a crate that's right here. On that crate sits your Tennessee whiskey antique alcohol bottle. Grab that and go back around. Uh, let's go over to our next marker, which is this uh, cardinal flower that's over here. Right here, this marker is a cardinal flower. It spawns over here in this area each and every day that helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on. Above that, this marker right here, this is a coin. This is a random coin. I cannot tell you guys what coin you will get, but it's right by the broken wagon or cart that's right here in this area. So go over there. When you do come in this area, you should see it like kind of sitting in the middle. It's kind of odd, like why would that be there? Go over there with your metal detector and that's where you will find your random coin. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a random arrowhead. This random arrowhead is randomized. I cannot tell you guys what it is, but right at the base of this large tree that's over here in this area, that's what you will get, a random arrowhead. Um, let's go over to Rhodes a little bit. We're not too far from Rhodes. Let's go over to Rhodes. I have a couple things in Rhodes to tell you guys about. One, there's a tarot card here. Inside this gazebo on the table, there's a Four of Wands tarot card. On this bank right here, right here in the corner, you guys will get a Four of Cups tarot card. And right here in this corner right here of this train station or post office, 
let me see if you guys can see that that's that picture that's over to the left that's what that is um but right here in this corner you guys will see a treasure chest and in that treasure chest you will see or you will get from that treasure chest a rosewood airbrush and one more thing while we're in roads right about here there's a random lost jury remember there's a, a big pile of rocks right here go on the left side of those rocks and with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random lost jury one more thing inside the Southfield Flats home or house right here in the corner there's a they call it a cabinet but it's not a cabinet this is like a shelf like a green shelf in the corner and on that shelf you guys will see a nine of cups tarot card <sighs> anywho that's pretty much it that i have for you guys for the extras and all that stuff uh the cycles for today once again are family heirloom cycle six all luxury cycle four coin cycle four arrowhead cycle four wildflower cycle four antique alcohol bottle cycle four all tarot card cycle six, bird egg cycle six, and fossils cycle four. Once again, family heirloom cycle six, all luxury cycle four, coin cycle four, arrowhead cycle four, wildflower cycle four, antique alcohol bottle cycle four, all tarot card cycle six, bird egg cycle six, and fossils cycle four. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Um, that's pretty much it for everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you guys for sharing when you do share. I do appreciate each and every bit of everything because it helps. Thank you for clicking on the video. <laughs> uh, it is your main man, Hitman. Once again, and remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day. Remember to turn on all post notifications, by the way. Anywho. Once again, it's your baby Hitman, and I'm out.